Hello, Internet, and welcome to my live reaction for Yomi no Sugai, Chapter 10. When we last left our, left our heroes, we expanded on the flashback that started in Chapter 8, uh, seeing the first time Yuru was really faced with murderous intent. And somehow, given our, our um, given the, the scene we get with his parents, Mine and Nagisa, it seems like that was a big determinant in their decision to leave the village with Asa. We still don't have a lot of details on that because Yuru just doesn't know anything. Uh, but then Asa ends up telling Yuru a bit about how she died that one time, which was also alluded to in the previous chapter. And she went to this sort of borderline between the living and the dead. She met the Sugai of Kai in this sort of wasteland. There's really, really, really cool imagery in that scene. Um, uh, and she was killed, came back to life, and, and gained the power of Kai. Uh, and then, in the present, the doorbell rings at the Kagemori estate, and who's outside the door but Dara? So, given this is Yuru's first encounter with Dara, since, um, since really interacting with the Kagemoris, I'm very curious to see how all that will play out. So with that said, let's dive right on into chapter 10, we have this message here from A Pair of Two and Project Vinland. I read it already. Basically, they're saying that we're going to drop the series for their, because there's an official translation on Manga Up. But as we all kind of know at this point, Manga Up just sort of sucks. So it's a low priority series. Um, but like, it'll, it'll still be coming from them. Uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm not trying with Manga Up. I, I took a look at it and like, no, thank you. <laughs> uh, but anyway. Uh, we have the magazine cover here that Yomi no Sugai features on uh, with Yuru, Dara, and and Hana was her name. I definitely knew it at one point, but I've definitely forgotten. Uh, right? Was it Hana? Um, yeah, Dara and Hana, along with uh, Left and Right. Uh, but yeah, it's a it's a nice little little magazine cover. Um, so yeah, let's dive right on in. We have a color opening also. Uh, Dara has entered the Kagemori lair on his own. It just, the word lair is kind of funny to me because it really does not feel like a lair at this point. Like, it's too bright and sunny. Um, anyway, we, we open with a shot of Dara and Jean on the phone, Yuru and Asa right behind him, as Jean asks, the Tadara family? Uh, and also now that we get to see Dara's outfit in color, I love the, like, red, like, shirt he's wearing. It's, it's such a good look for him. Uh, but Yuru thinks Dara-san. Uh, and Jean turns to Yuru. It appears that he has come for you, big brother. What do you want to do? Um, and then we have this really nice two-page spread here. Uh, with, with Asa and her new Sugai. The path one treads after returning from the underworld is one of endless conflict. Uh, and I love, like, the red... It kind of reminds me of, you know, the bit in, in Ghoul? I think it might just been the anime of Ghoul. It definitely was just in the anime of Ghoul for... Um, um, the, the master, Yoshimura, Yoshimura's flashback, but it also featured, I forget if it was just anime only or anime and manga for Kaneki's turn, the white flowers that turn red, that, that's what it very much reminds me of, that sort of point of no return, stained with blood. It's a very nice look, is what I'm getting at. Chapter 10, Beta and White. Uh, and we cut to, to Wright commenting, I totally forgot about Dara. <laughs> yeah! You just sort of abandoned him, like, several months ago, in real-world time, at least. Uh, and Yuru notes, yeah, we snuck out without telling him. Um, and he thinks back over what everyone has told him about the Kagemoris. Asa's, I trust the Kagemoris. Dara's, a troublesome family. And Hana, you don't want to get involved with them. Uh, and he just notes, you know, acknowledging the sort of, of moral mess he's sort of stuck in. I guess it'll be better to hear both sides of the argument. Uh, and he turns to Jean. I would like Dara to come here, if that's all right. Very well. Akio, bring him to the doorway. Um, which is it's interesting. Like, again, for all we're told the Kagemori's evil, they're very, or for all that Dara and Hana claim the Kagemori's were some malicious force, we see them here, like, you know, accepting Yuru's request to, um, to talk to, to Dara. Uh, so again, they really don't come across as villains, which is very much on the point of this whole storyline. Akio, bring you to the doorway. Yes. This time, don't kill him. Which would seem a lot darker if we didn't know why Akio killed the last guy um, during the raid the previous night. And Akio just apologizes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 
Uh, and we see, we cut to a shot of so someone like sweeping the ground. And then comes the guy from a few chapters ago, whose name I don't, like the, the one member of the Kagemoris who seemed very suspicious. Good morning, Jean. Things seem rather a mess. Has anything happened? Asuma. Asuma reminds us of his name. Good morning, Asuma-san. Who I forget if, like, I know Jean hated him. I forget if Asa was aware of that animosity or not. Um, but Jean tells him, A great number of unknown sugai infiltrated the mansion. That's terrible. And we see Jean is, like, just furious at him. It was quite the ruckus. Why didn't you come and help us? I was sleeping. Oh, he's so full of shit. I love this guy. He's so full of shit. You mean you didn't hear the commotion? Uh, and then someone comes up. Whoa, what's this? What's this, Jin-kun? Uh, and is this, like... Larger man in, like, a tracksuit, who very much seems like he's a normal 21st century guy, and not- Or, I guess the, a lot, the Kage Warriors all kind of seem like that, I'm comparing him to Asuma. But, like, everyone else is so, like, well-dressed, and he's just in this, like, undone tracksuit. Why has the mansion been damaged this badly? And Asuma greets him. Good morning, Hagare-kun. Good morning, Asuma-kun. What happened? An earthquake? Oh, I get the feeling he doesn't know about Sugai. Oh, no, he does, never mind. A lot of Sugai users user blah, 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 blah. A lot of Sugai users attack the place for Asa-san and her brother. Huh? Is Asa-chan all right? Uh, and Asa greets them. Sorry for the disturbance. I'm fine. Oh, thank goodness. Huh? For Asa and her brother? And Jean points out Yuru, uh, because all of a sudden Yuru's just hanging out with them. Her brother is here. You found your brother. He looks just so nice as he greets um gre as he talks to Asa here. That's great, Asa-chan. Although, all of a sudden, he reminds me of Fury from FMA. It was like, I know the same author, but it's an interesting, um, like, shared, shared face there. Uh, and Hagare turns to Yuru. You must be Yuru-kun. I've heard a lot about you. And we see left and right, like, looming over Hagare. I'm not sure you can actually see them. Oh, no, he definitely can. I keep thinking this guy is some normal guy, but no, he, he's a full-on Sugai. Sugai, maybe not a Sugai user, but, like... Sugai viewer, I guess, uh, as as Asa introduces them. Sayusama, this is Sayusama, big brother Sugai. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, I'm sorry, Jinkun, for being no help when you were in trouble. After the deadline, we sl I slept like the dead. Uh, which is a very different react. So Jean's reaction here is very different than when Asuma made the same excuse. Um, not at all. Good work. Because Asuma, Asuma, he was furious about. But with Hagare, he's much nicer to him. I don't know. I'm, I'm curious, like... Like, you can already see, like, factions forming with, like, Jean and, and Asuma on one side. But both Asuma and... Or, Jean and Asuma on opposite sides. But Jean and Asuma have both been so, so nice to Hagare. I'm curious how he fits into all this. Hmm. Um, but Hagare knows this is bad. We place wards to stop strangers from entering the mansion. When and where did they break through? Uh, and Jean notes, I'll have to torture, ask the captive for more information. Uh, and we see, you know, Haruo and, and the tortoise and the doctor lady treating the, the captive. Uh, I hate it. The mansion isn't a safe haven anymore. I can't loll around anymore. I think this is more of Hagare's line. Because he comes out front with, with Jean as a car approaches. It's father's car. Oh, he's the master's son. Because Jean responds, the master has returned. Welcome back. And the master steps out of the car. Oh, there seems to have been some... Uh, but before I can really say anything, Dara... Oh, Dara's in the car <laughs> with him. Hello, hello. Good morning. Uh, and Yuru knows Dara-san. Yuru, you're all right. Uh, and... Jean doesn't recognize him. Master, who is this? I met him in front, so I gave him a ride. Again, the Kage Warriors just seem so friendly. Like, even to people who are... And, like, Dara accepts the hospitality? I don't know. There's just something going on with with the, the Kage Warriors and how we're supposed to view them. I don't know. He is from the Tadera family, and he's Yuruku's protector. Uh, and Dara introduces himself. I'm Tadera Ryu. And the Master shakes his hand. Oh, you must be Yurukun. I'm the master of the family, Kagemori Gonzo. Nice to meet you. Uh, and then he, he examines, uh, right. I've already heard, but what splendid Sugai. Uh, and Jean, 
while while Gonzo is having this whole time, like ex- like having fun with the Sue guy, Gene is sort of sizing up Dara, the servants of Higashimura, the Tadera family, messengers between Higashimura and the Lower Lands, a cautious family that has yet to reveal themselves to us. Why is he standing defenseless in our midst? And yet Dara's just like real cocky there. He's like real, feels real self assured. Um. And write questions about the Kagemori's being in league with Dara. Which I, did, I must have forgotten that was even something they were considering. Uh, but Yuru cuts that off. Nope. Both the old man and Jean are staring at dara some with murderous intent. Has the Tadera family done something to the Kagemori's? Uh, and that's not quite right, as we see from, from Jean's uh, musings. But also, interestingly, like, like we, I know that, that Yuru was like, really good at judging murderous intent... But, like, Gonzo looks so happy there. (laughs) Well, I guess there is some sort of murderous intent there. Uh, But Yuru calls out, Dara-san. What? I heard from her. If I die once, I'll obtain the power of Fu. Did you know that, Dara-san? So now now that Dara Dara and the Kagemoris are here, Yuru is, like, you know, going straight on for answers. Sayu-sama, why didn't you tell me? Uh, But Dara tries to, like, defend himself. I don't know the specifics, only the words passed on in the village. But you are kind and love your sister deeply. If anything happens to Asachan, you'd sacrifice your life for her. It'll be fine even if I die once. You might throw away your life without caution. That is a dangerous way of thinking. I, I like the sudden shift here as like all the sort of formalities cut away and Dara gets straight to the point. And he is still like very, very like defensive of, of Yuru, very sort of support, very like protective of him is the best way to put it. Um, like this doesn't feel like him scheming for either side. This, this feels like him wanting to protect Yuru. Um, and Wright sort of adds on, there is no guarantee that you will return to life after dying. Uh, and Left adds on, we said that Higashimura's last pair of twins were born 400 years ago, right? Then one of the twins didn't return to life. Uh, and we get the shot of, of both Yuro and Asa sort of taking that in heavily. But I sort of want to tie that theme back to what the Sugai of Kai said to Asa last month. About how, um, um, or the specifics. Uh, that, like, you can choose to live or die. It's not, maybe, maybe people who aren't the, the prophesied twins don't really know that. But coming back to life is a choice. Asa knows that. But the way, maybe it's part of it, part of it is like the, the, the way left is, is describing it sort of muddies that fact, that it is a choice. Uh, but we see Hagare, Asuma, and Jean all, all react to that sort of knowledge of, of you know, that, that the resurrection is not assured. Uh, and Gonzo just like claps his hands. Hmm, these aren't matters to be discussed while standing. And everyone just, like, looks at him, trying to have this serious conversation. Yuru-kun, are you hungry? Oh, I haven't eaten since last night. Let's talk during breakfast. Hey, prepare breakfast for everyone. Uh, and the ser- the, so, like, a couple of, like, servants call out, yes, sir. Uh, and Gunzo assures Dara, it's fine, it's not poisoned. Thank you. Thanks for the meal. Um, and they, ha- they come to, like, the, the dining room. A room where we can all eat together. Oh dear, the Great Hall was a mess because it sort of got destroyed the night before. And Hagare asks, should I repair it? Yes, please. That's a lot of repairs. Um, and this sort of like, this sort of energy fox thing spawns from Hagare. Is Hagare himself a Sugai? Or is this his Sugai summoning? I don't know. He sort of like holds out his hand like, like so. Very like, very sort of, how to put it? Like, it looks sort of non... There's an inhumanness to it. Like, I think he might just be a Sue guy. Um, and he, like, holds his hand out in front of the, the wreckage and, like, swipes over it, cleaning it. Um, it's very similar to me to Eraser's power in Eden Zero, except not as destructive. Um, as, as Left notes, it's, it's gone. And Dara looks, it's all white. Oh, and with his other Sue guy... Hagare is not part Sugai, or is not a Sugai, he's, he's, these are, I don't know why I keep underestimating Hagare, it's a consistent thing, he's only been in this series for like 10 pages, and every single time it's like, oh, I think he's this, and I'm wrong, um, 
But he pulls out his other suit guy um, and takes that white and restores it. I'm guessing this is beta and white of the title of the chapter title. But with that, the floor is repaired. Um, shocking, shocking Yuru, Dara, and Sayu. Uh, and Hagare, con- Hagare just tells them, now, now. And he does that again with some of the damage on the, like, the, the top of the walls. Uh, the, like, the slashed, um, bore, the slashed pillar in the, in the room is, is restored. And with that, the room is basically fixed. Now we can have breakfast. Uh, and Yuru just, like, feels it with, like, shock. Everything's back to normal. Uh, and Dara comments, huh? How does that work? Uh, and Hagare comment, Hagare tells them, my sugai are black and white. Nice to meet you. Which is interesting, because only one of those is the chapter title. The other, Beta, is not the chapter title. I don't know. I don't know why they would be like half the pair. You know, one half of two pairs is the title here. Hmm. I just don't know. Oh, no, never mind. Uh, as Hagare goes on, this, once again, I continue to make wrong assumptions about Hagare. This one's name is White. And this one's name is Beta, reporting to, pointing to the, the, the black one, of course. I white in the parts that need correcting and use ink to draw as I wish. Okay, so it sort of is like a... It's not that he's, like, restoring. He's just creating a new, I guess. He just happens to be creating a new in the way that it originally was. All right. Uh, and Asa fills in, Like observation and imagination personified, black and white are perfect for Hagare-sensei. And, and your question, Sensei? I work as a manga artist. I'm Hung- Hagare Hikaru. Okay. Uh, so he's a manga artist. That's neat. By the way, the pew is their way of showing love, which I guess is them spitting, I guess? Um, and, and Dara comments, oh, oh, Hagare is the name of the original creator of a movie. I've seen it. Uh, oh, so like Dara's a fan of his. Uh, and, and Hagare notes, thanks to you, I've been working well. Uh, and Yuru, Yuru is just manga. What's manga? (laughs) Which, uh, sorry, man, you're in one. Hagare is my pen name. My real name is Kagemori Hikaru. In- Interesting note there, though, is that even, um, even, like, like, Jean and Asa refer to him by his pen name. They don't call him Hikaru, they call him by his fake last name. That's an interesting, interesting little detail there. I'm curious how that'll end up, if that'll end up getting explored. Uh, but Yuru is once again confused by the, the modern world pen, uh, and Asa fills in his alias. Uh, but Hagare goes on, my family is a lot of shady stuff. In order to avoid controversy, I use a pen name. Uh, but Dara is just, Dara is focusing on that family. You're a member of the Kagemori family? We three are brothers. Oh, okay. I'm the eldest, Hikaru. I'm the second son, Asuma. And Jean, <laughs> not happy to be with his brothers. I'm the youngest, Jean. Uh, and Dara and Yuru both turn to Jean, youngest. You're the youngest? And Jean just stares at them, what? But we are only half-siblings. We don't look alike anyway. Okay, uh, so I guess that means that Gonzo kind of slept around a little bit. All right, that's a little detail, I suppose. <laughs> uh, and Asuma as in, Hagare is the eldest. He'll be the next master of the family. You should try to get close to him. Uh, and Hagare opposes, no, I don't want to be the master of the family. I can't. Uh, I want to spend my life happily drawing manga in peace. I don't want to be grouped in with you people with a twisted sense of morality, which, given the 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 whole vibe of the Kagemoris, you know, so far it's before before Hagare, it's been largely people who are opposed to the Kagemoris are are think the Kagemoris are bad, but are also morally questionable themselves, and the Kagemoris are very like, yeah, we're just trying to. It's not quite sure what the what the actual goal is. Uh, but, like, protect Asa. At least Jean and, and Gonzo are trying to protect Asa. But here we have a Kagimori actively saying, mm, maybe we are the bad guys. Um, anyway, Dara turns to Gonzo. I heard that bratty creators are the ones who create interesting content. Uh, but Gonzo just tells him, that's prejudice. Uh, then Dara turns to, to Hagare. Oh, and manga artist sensei, the places you repaired are in black and white. Is that okay? Oh, because he's a manga artist. 
it, it's not returned to normal. It's just in black and white. But we can't tell because it's a manga. Um, don't worry. Don't worry. The color around it will seep in and it'll return to normal. And then he takes a look at it. The details of the column are sloppy. The lines are too clean. If we consider the age of the building, the corner, the age of the building, the corner should be rougher. Mm. The edges are too sharp. The tatami as well. And a place that people often walk past, the tatami should be worn. It doesn't look aged or used. He is just getting like all, getting all hypercritical of his manga skills here. I'll have to redraw everything. Uh, and Gene stops him. Let's have breakfast first. I like Hagare. He's fun. Uh, and and the the Kagemori servants come in. Excuses for the wait. Uh, with 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 breakfast. Uh, and Gonzo, as someone like takes his outer coat off, tells the group, "The seating. Well, it doesn't matter. Sit wherever you like. We're a newly prominent family. No need to be bound by tradition or etiquette." Which again, you know, I, I'm really curious. I just want. I want to know. I want to know what the actual details of this world are right now. Because it, it's all very interesting. Uh, hey. And Yuru hears a hey. Ho. Hey. Ho. And it's these little sumo guys bringing, like, seat cushions over. <laughs> I guess one of the... I guess one of the... The, the, the servants, the Sue guy user. Have a seat. Oh, uh, thanks. Uh, a whole bunch of Sue guy are, are helping out with, like... That's some neat, like... I don't know, I find that, that sort of neat. Um... The, the, the way that, like, the Sugai are used, it is a neat bit of world building, seeing, like, people who aren't combatants still use their Sugai for, like, to help out with their jobs. Um, uh, and they even leave out seats for left and right, as right asks, oh, do we have seats as well? Uh, and left comments, we don't eat human food. But Gonzo tells her, you're guests. You should all feast equally. Um, and as they all sit together, um, and I don't know, before I saw Haro and Akio sitting on, on the left here, and the doctor sitting on the left, there was a really nice bit of, like, the way the, the setup, like, highlights the tension between the two groups. Uh, though it would have been nicer we had, we had had, like, Yuru in the middle. I don't know, it, it would have been, I, I don't know, I don't know, I'm just gonna shut up now. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm quickly barreling in my examination of this panel on the top right here of 29 into, you know... Looking at, at how how I might have done something and not looking at the manga as it is. So, moving on. We see them all sitting together. Uh, as Jean asks, well, how did you know the big brother was here? And Dara just notes it's a secret. Yesterday night, a great number of Sugai assaulted the mansion. Was it the work of you people of Higashimura? Uh, and Hagare is just so uncomfortable. Sudden animosity during a perfectly lovely meal. Uh, and, G and Dara questions, what? I don't know. Why would I assault the Kagemori base? Big Brother is here. They assaulted the mansion. Now you are here. The timing is too good to be a coincidence. Though it really is. As far as we know, Dara had no role in that. Depending on who you ask, the Tadara family are said to be able to break wards. I don't know how to break your ward. Uh, that, that part of the conversation in the background to, uh, <laughs> to Yuru eating, eating his meal and Asa like in tears, Big Brother is having a meal. Uh, and then Dara goes on, anyway, about Asachan. And he turns to her. Have the Kagimoris mistreated you? No need to worry. They have fed and educated me well. If I remain in the mansion, I don't need to worry about being assassinated. Though they managed to break in today. Like, yeah, you didn't need to, and then the assassin showed up. Uh, and <laughs> she has this serious face, like, in her mind. It's just, Big Brother is drinking miso soup. Whoa! Um, but Gab fills in. There are enemies everywhere once you step out of the mansion. Uh, and the doctor... Mm, the doctor, whose name I forget, notes, We try not to venture out too much, but, but if the infirmary here can't handle it, Asa-chan has to go to a normal hospital. There are always less guards in that kind of situation. Uh, and Asa notes, I was captured by the assassins of Higashimura when I was hospitalized. And Dara doesn't really comment on the fact that it was his faction that assassinated her. Um, as he just notes, Asachan, why were you so ill? Gastric ulcer! <laughs> the people of Igashimura were always, 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 always trying to kill me. The stress opened a hole in my stomach. As she's, like, like staring daggers at, at Dara. 
And Dara just knows, even if you say so, I'm not the one who gave the order. If I'm in a hospital, there are normal people around. They might be caught in the crossfire. Please stop it. She's just like... It's also interesting that she's like... Casu- she, there's a bit of a casualness to her request there. Like, please, she, she tells him, please. Um, but Dara is just... I'm not responsible. I'm really sorry, though. There are some extremists in Higashimura. Okay, so now we're getting to see... You know, we spent all this time sort of peeling back the idea that Higashimura are like... You know... Black and white good guys or something. Um... But now we're now we're seeing from Dara's perspective. It's similar to the thing with Hagare earlier. How Hagare expressed a bit of the, a bit of of distrust or disdain for his own family. Now we're seeing Dara express a similar disdain for at least some elements within his own faction. Interesting. It, it's the way Arakawa is like setting up this whole web of of complicated factions. It, it's very good, is my point. Uh, but Dara goes on. Oh, but what about your registration, Asachan? Hospitals cost a lot of your insurance. <laughs> Calling back to my, my, what's easily my favorite gag in the series so far. I was wondering what to do with Yuru. Uh, and Asa notes, I'm not registered yet in the Lower Lands. That sounds difficult. My mother came, came from the Lower Lands, so I thought I could get registered through her. And then she glares at Dara. But she was attacked and is missing. Huh? And that genuinely takes Dara by surprise. He turns to Yuru. Your parents are missing? And that's what she said. Well, I'm on Higashimura's side, but I've never heard about your parents going missing. I don't think the Higashimura community I'm familiar with is responsible. Uh, and Gonzo pushes back. You're asking us to believe you implicitly. I'll not hold back if you enter my territory, but I won't, but I won't attack unprovoked. But the extremists of Higashimura are different. See, I've come here to retrieve Yuru unharmed. Are you sure it's not extremists in the Kagemori family who are responsible? If you're not all on the same page, someone might have leaked the information. So he's getting at what I've been saying, basically, that, like, there are factions within factions here. This is not a simple concept. Not even a a both sides aren't necessarily evil co- conflict. It's a there are various competing factions within the factions. Um, it's complicated is the point. Um, but Dara turns to Gonzo, Master Kagemori, what do you want with the twins? Uh, and Gonzo, Gonzo takes a moment, takes, takes a sip of his soup, and sets it down. When the destined twins are born, the world will be, the world will be plunged into strife. It's better if neither Kai nor Fu exists. Okay, um, that might be a bad sign, given that the, the twins are right there in front of him. I hope Asa and Yoru will be the last pair of twins. And Higashimoru and Higashimura that gave being to the twins should also be gone. It's a pitiable village trapped in the past, still dreaming of ruling the world. The times have changed. At least the children of Higashimura should be guided by us. Okay, so there's that dreaming of ruling the world bit that we have not heard anything of so far. Um and then, while he, he sort of decries Higashimura for these, like, high dreams of world domination, he still sort of wants to, he says, guide the children of Higashimura, but there might still be an element of a similar concept to, to what we see with what Higashimura wants for the world and what he wants for Higashimura? I don't know. Interesting thing there. Um, and Asuma raises his hand. I disagree. People given special power should unite the world and rule in peace. It is their responsibility. Okay, so now we're starting to see just how those factions have shaped, how, just like the the ideological differences between the factions within the Kagemori family, at least. Uh, you know, I imagine Jean and, and maybe even Hakure are um, more on board with Gonzo's Let's Let It All End, whereas Asuma... Asuma also wants to, like, he, he paints himself as a benevolent ruler for the world, or, or that, that, you know, the, the twins, at the very least, should be benevolent rulers, but he still has that same sort of domination idea, or, or conquest idea. Uh, it is their responsibility. It is a power given to them by the gods. Uh, and Dara questions, do you, mean that, do you mean that the Kagemoris can control that power? Yes. The existence of Higashimura, which, from which came the power of Kai and Fu, 
should not be rejected. But it should be under a worthy organization. That's what I think. Though, I mean, I imagine Asuma sees himself as a worthy, as, you know, a potential heir for a worthy organization. But is he really, is the question. Uh, and also, I kind of want to put, put into... The way Asuma is talking here makes me think that what, even though it hasn't been said yet, he wants to be the next master of the family. And so I'm thinking about that in, in relation to, his, to his, his little quip to Hagare about Hagare being the next master, so you should, like, kiss up to him or whatever. Mm. And if that might not be a way of hiding his true intentions, possibly. Again, who knows? Uh, and also, uh, your return is to, to left. Sayusama. Yes? When I asked you whether we were cursed children, destined to bring strife to the world, you, you denied it immediately. You denied it instantly. It's people who want to use our power who start the conflict. The two of you explicitly stating that it isn't our fault gave me strength. We can live like normal people, too. Thank you. Uh, and, okay, he doesn't really say anything to, to like, the people of, of either faction there. He just makes that little... Has that, like, it's a very public aside. It's, it's a conversation I think he wants everyone else to hear. Uh, it's a way of sort of stating what has become his beliefs while still kind of blaming it on Sayu, which is an interesting little, little um, verbal tactic there. Anyway, he, he sort of prays, thanks for the meal, and then points to Asa. No matter what happens, she keeps apologizing. I haven't forgiven the attack on the village, but it's not her fault, and yet she apologized. Which of you forced her into such a narrow line of thought? Oh, that's he's that's what he's getting at. Who made her believe that it was all her thought, all her fault? Why do the destined twins have to live in hiding from birth? Why must our way of life be decided by others? If not all the members of the Kagemori family are on the same page, these words will probably be passed on to the extremists. Oh, he's trying to like make a make a public declaration here, Darison. Pass on my words to the people in Igashimura as well. I will neither run nor hide. There is no reason to do so. You people of Higashimura and the Kagemori family are all trouble. If you want my head, come and take it. What a declaration there. But I will both but I will get both my revenge and information. Tell them. Next time, facing everything head on. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So, a whole lot to dig in here. I feel like I dig into a lot of it over the course of the video, so I don't think there's going to be one of those videos where I really dig into it. It really dig into the chapter after the, the read-through. Um, but there is a lot going on here. Uh, there's a lot of, of character introductions of sort of... I, I think the, that final dinner conversation is so good. It's, it's like tense, and, and you're sort of sorting out what exactly is going on between this conflict and you're watching like in almost in real time the conflict get more complicated by the second uh it's just good to see it's just some good 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 content i guess for lack of a better term um i don't know i i really i lost a train of thought for a second there fuck i don't know my, my mind went blank for a split second um like like as as the chapter goes on from like Especially during the dinner conversation, but even through the rest of it, you're really starting to see the ways that this this conflict is in no way simple. There's, you know, faction. There's like the two factions, Higashimori and Kagemori, and then there are extremists in both groups. There are, are more pacifistic sides in both groups. There's, you know, there's Hikaru who wants nothing to do with anything. Um, I don't know. I, I just really like seeing the ways that this conflict has gotten more and more complicated. And then, of course, it ends with with Yuru saying, like, not only are there are there like at least two factions within each of the two factions, but like, fuck all y'all. I'm on neither of y'all's side. I I'm opposed to, you know, I'm opposed to the extremists and for for the way they sort of have forced have like turned Asa into this person who is constantly apologizing, and for all of her her like you know, freedom and, and maybe not good health, given what we know about her hospitalizations, but, like, still, um, her, like, her, her, I mean, help, I, like, comparing her to the little, like, sickly fake Asa in the village, you know, good health, I guess, um, 
she still is this sort of of constantly apolog you know always apologetic um always sort of allowing herself to be labeled the the uh the the villain here and Yuru is just making a, a direct you know fuck all of that um to both to every single faction in this conflict that he will be his own thing he will stand apart from all of them um and I'm curious if anyone will stand with him like Asa might and I can honestly I could see Gab joining up with Asa not with, not with like Yuru or not not to betray the Kagemoris but like due to her affection for Asa if Asa decides to sort of break apart from all the factions to join up with Yuru I don't know Interesting, interesting concept there. It's sort of thing that I, I'm glad that Eleven is like already out in in um, in Japan, and hopefully, you know, they, they said they're they're that Sugai is like a lower priority due to manga up, um, but hopefully we'll get it soon because I, I just want to know what happens next. Um, and apart from from the the good drama and the good sort of of you know ex expanding the depth of the conflict, uh, they, there's just some good humor in here, like. Just the, the little itty bitty Sue guy running around. Uh, Hagare is just like rage at, at his supposed failure in his in his um, Sue guy ability is real funny. Um, it's just good, you know. It, it's I mean Arakawa is one of the greatest manga of all time for a reason. Uh, this chapter is an expert blend of of great drama and and great comedy. Uh, and I just can't, I just want Eleven to be, to be translated as soon as possible, because I just, I just need to know what happens next. Uh, so with that said, I'm going to leave this video off here. Hope you all enjoyed the chapter and the video itself. If you did, feel free to drop me a like or subscribe, or, you know, do whatever makes it happy, you know? And as always, your life is your own, okay? Bye!